be a, not the, the best first 40 that you guys had. You capitalized on your chances, and then you, you really kind of took over when uh, Dave juggled the lines. Just kind of tell me about, you know, this year, whenever he seems to throw in a little bit of a mix, you guys seem to respond to that. Yeah, obviously we kind of held on there for the first 40. Miko did a great job as usual. Um, you know, I thought our young D, uh, you know, Teppel here as well, um, you know, did a good job of stepping in and, and uh, trying to keep the game simple, keep the game in front of them, and um, you know, kind of worked our way through the through the game. And like you said, we, we capitalized on our chances and um, you know, got some timely saves. Marcus, for you, uh, first NHL game, uh, the guys made you go without the lid for uh, your, your skate. Kind of just tell us about the, your feelings for your first NHL game. Uh, a bit nervous at the start, but uh, I had a lot of fun, though, so, and a good win today, so it was good. Connor, you, you were trying to get Zach. It looked like that last goal into the empty net. He's never had a hat trick in the NHL. You, you know, you probably knew that. You're trying to get it over to him, but... Uh, he had lots of chances tonight to get that third goal. He had lots of chances, like you said, and obviously we thought we, we, we thought he had it there, and uh, you know just a, a hair offside. So um, you know, obviously I'm trying to get him that puck. Um, you know I almost feel guilty putting it in the net, but um, you know Rodriguez kind of just uh, um, you know kind of glued himself to, to Himes, and you know obviously you got to you got to put it away as well. So um, obviously trying to get him the puck, but uh, just couldn't find a way. Thank you. Connor generated a lot at even strength tonight. I think all the goals. Um, of course, he had the empty netter too. But just uh, from an even strength standpoint, how, how crucial is it to be able to do that? And why do you think you were able to tonight, even though play was tilted the other way at times? Yeah, I thought we generated some chances, especially there in the third period. Um, you know, it just, uh, just worked. I thought it just came down to, to working harder. Um, I know it sounds cliche again, but... Um, you know, they were, they were kind of bringing it, bringing it to us there in the second period. And... We just need to up our work ethic and, and get pucks to the net and, and, you know, kind of good things happen. So I like that uh, we were able to generate some stuff five on five. We didn't rely on the power play. Um, and our penalty kill was good as well. So um, overall, I thought uh, it was a good one. You executed a couple of two-on-ones, and they were a little bit different. On the first one, it was an early pass. The second one, the delay. Just take us through when you're moving in on a two-on-one, kind of what you're watching for and, and how you know, or is it just instinct? It's a little bit of instinct. It's a little bit of routine as well. You know, trying to get yourself in the middle of the ice and um, you know, just try to make your read. That's just all you can do. Hi, Connor. Uh, you know, your team's down four defensemen. Pittsburgh Penguins are coming to town. This isn't necessarily a game that you guys would be expected to win. Yet you come out on the on the on the on the, the, the right side of it. What does this say about your organizational depth and the way that you guys have been able to kind of battle through what's supposed to be a tough? period for you. Yeah, it's been great to see the young D-men come in and, and, and play well. Um, it's great to see Skinner doing well. Um, you know, that goes a long way. Obviously, there's, it's a long year and there's going to be injuries. There's going to be things that happen and, and uh, you know, you need that depth. And, um, you know, I thought the guys have done a great job of stepping in and, and uh, picking up where we left off. On that, uh, the empty net, it almost looked like he was more interested in preventing the hat trick than giving you uh, uh, an uncontested line to the net. Yeah, yeah, he didn't, he didn't really chase after me at all. He kind of just grabbed Himes and, and stood there. Um, you know, again, I, obviously I'm trying to get him that puck. Love to get him that puck. Um, but, you know, obviously he stayed with him. Marcus, if I'd have told you a month ago you'd be sitting up at a podium next to Connor McDavid, what would you have said? Sorry, what? <laughs> If, if we'd have told you six months ago you were going to be sitting next to Connor McDavid doing interviews, what would you have said? I don't know. Probably would not believe it. <laughs> uh, Connor, you've, the, the statistics say you've, when you and Sid go head-to-head, -head, you've had a lot of points, you've done well. But you guys haven't won many games against Pittsburgh. They've been a tough team on you. Uh, nice to, you know, is there just something in, Playing well, sure, but winning a game against Pittsburgh in a decisive fashion. Yeah, I think it's important. You know, we've played Pittsburgh, uh, you know, not a ton of times in my career, and like you said, we haven't uh, we haven't found ways to get wins. Um, although, you know, we've had some some good games. They've all been tight. Um, you know, we haven't found a way to get a win. So, uh, definitely happy to to get a win against those guys. And Marcus, lastly, uh, your family, Marcus. Um, what time is it in Finland? Uh, were your parents able to watch this game live? Do you know? Uh, I think it started at like 5 a.m. there, so they probably woke up for that. So. 
Okei. Okay. Markus, no, miltä se tuntui tuo vauhti nhl ensimmäisessä ottelussa? No, onhan se kyllä nopeata, että ei, ei sitä käy kiistäminen. Ja kiekko liikkuu nopeasti ja, ja sillä tavalla, että tota, joo, kyllä aika, aika nopea on vauhti. Ja, mutta tota, kyllä se on tottu sitten, että niin kuin mä sanoin jo aikaisemmin, niin vähän jännitti ehkä alkuun, niin sit kun se hälveni siitä, niin alkoi tuntua jo paremmalta. Miten nuo Pori ja Hämeenlinnan vuodet valmistui sinua niin draftin jälkeen tähän paikkaan? No, kyllähän no, ammattilaispelit on kuitenkin aina erilaisia kuin, kuin mitä tuntuu esimerkiksi OHL se pelaava ja tollaan, niin kyllä ne, kyllä ne valmistaa hyvin, että, että tota, virheet, jos tulee virheitä paljon, niin ne voi olla aika, aika suuri merkitys pelille niille. Hi Marcus, uh, just back here uh, on your left here, Tony Brar, Oilers TV. Um, can you maybe take us through when you found out that you were going to make your way to Edmonton, when you got the call, where you were and who you maybe called after that? Uh, I was at a grocery store <laughs> and then I got the call so I went to the rink and packed my stuff and went to the apartment and back there and then went to... Uh, uh, LA because uh, I had an early flight the next day so I'm assuming you had a conversation with Jay Woodcroft uh, when you got the call um, maybe what can you maybe share what he said to you in, in leading up to your first NHL game uh, he just gave me some advice and said that good luck right? <laughs> nothing special I guess <laughs> I know it's really fresh but did anything stand out from your game like in a a lot of players talk about their welcome to the NHL moment. Did you have a moment that really stood out tonight? Mm. I got hit pretty hard in the first period, so that kind of woke me up a little bit, I guess. <laughs> and Connor, while we're on the subject, I know your first NHL game was in St. Louis. Did you have a welcome to the NHL moment back in 2015? You know, honestly, my first game kind of felt like just a blur looking back. Um, you know, you're kind of just uh, in shock the whole time. And, you know, the game starts to slow down a little bit after that. But uh, I think my welcome to the NHL moment would have been playing Ovi kind of, uh, I think we played him maybe four or five games in. And just seeing the big, uh, the big eight flying around, it's, uh, it was a pretty, uh, pretty cool night for sure. Thanks for sharing that. Thanks.